In this video, we will show you how China was able to replace a mega bridge in 40 hours. How is this possible? In a remarkable feat, engineers constructed the city's latest bridge within an impressive 40-hour time frame, alleviating the previously congested traffic. Typically, building a bridge in our locale would require a month or even a year. However, within this specific vicinity, engineers possess the ability to perform extraordinary feats. Situated in Beijing, China, the bridge serves as a crucial artery for the bustling capital city renowned for hosting the largest number of world cultural heritage sites globally. The city operates at a rapid pace, with approximately 1,500 vehicles crossing the bridge every hour. As an indispensable conduit for urban traffic, any congestion or disruption along this vital route could potentially paralyze the entire transportation network of Beijing. Such scenarios are unequivocally unacceptable within the capital's borders. Consequently, in the event of an unexpected bridge failure, engineers are tasked with swiftly restoring traffic flow to normalcy. The transportation department issued an order that stipulated a deadline of 48 hours for the completion of the project. Surprisingly, the engineers were able to complete the job in a mere 40 hours, surpassing expectations and amazing even American experts known for their superior infrastructure. This accomplishment sparked an instant discussion on the internet, leaving many people wondering about the procedures utilized by engineers. The bridge in question, known as the San Juan Bridge, has been in place since the 1980s. In October 2015, both the main girder and the bridge deck suffered major cracks. The deterioration was attributed to the bridge's long-term functioning, which required it to bear the weight of heavy vehicles. Additionally, the construction of a subway beneath the road segment connecting to the airport caused considerable damage to the already heavily loaded bridge, rendering it inaccessible within a few years. It is widely known that replacing or repairing a scaffold usually takes over two days to complete. This is true even in industrialized nations like Western Europe. However, in Beijing, the capital of China, there is a regulation that prohibits bridge replacements in seven days or less. People who have been to Beijing are likely aware of this information. The bridge is an essential link in the city's transportation network and an important access point to the airport. Therefore, replacing the bridge becomes a race against time. If not completed as quickly as possible, it would cause significant setbacks to traffic in the country's capital, falling under the responsibility of the transportation department. Following an in-depth investigation by industry professionals, the transportation department committed to completing the bridge replacement within 48 hours. The engineers were under immense pressure to complete the job of replacing the bridge as quickly as possible and before the deadline. During their work, the construction crew faced numerous difficulties. Rebuilding the entire structure in just 40 hours seemed like an almost impossible task. Considering its total area of 260,000 square meters and a length of 4.8 kilometers. However, the employees were willing to work in shifts lasting 24 hours and through the night to get the job done. One might perceive this as an attempt to influence workers who might have the right to engage in a strike, similar to their European counterparts. Strikes are frequently observed, and most employees are unwilling to work for more than eight hours consecutively. Working beyond regular hours is a rare phenomenon. However, this particular group of construction workers displayed a willingness to comply with such an arrangement to accomplish a marvel for the city. They labored continuously for four days, including two nights. The truck carrying the bridge has a maximum load capacity of 2,000 tons while the weight of the old deck alone adds up to 2,900 tons to the overall bridge weight. Furthermore, the bridge consists of seven ramps, five ramp approach bridges, and three major bridges spanning a significant distance. The main bridge follows a conventional design with a V-shaped pierced steel frame structure, and the upper main girder is designed as a T-shaped section. For the ramp features, prefabricated reinforced concrete, wide web T-shaped, simply supported beams, and the approach pier is a double column thin walled pier. These characteristics differ from the main bridge, which adheres to the typical V-shaped pierced steel frame structure. This endeavor unveils the most exceptionally intricate construction task that China has ever encountered. For a duration of two days, the road segment was temporarily closed to facilitate the uninterrupted progress of the construction endeavor. At crucial road junctions, maintenance workers and traffic authorities were stationed 
to redirect vehicles and inform drivers to avoid accessing the area. The project required the involvement of a thousand personnel, 130 substantial pieces of machinery, and 50 waste disposal vehicles. During the early morning hours, a team of 1,000 engineers commenced the process of dividing the remaining bridge deck into two sections. Their aim was to transport these sections from the permanent pier to a temporary one using the PAC beam truck. This operation took place at the original pier. An advanced machine weighing a thousand tons made its debut during the beam replacement task. The new bridge deck measuring 55 meters in length, 45 meters in breadth, and weighing a total of 1,300 tons was successfully delivered in one piece to its designated location. Two vehicles collaborated simultaneously, covering a distance that gradually increased from 3 to 6 meters within a minute. This procedure placed considerable strain on the engineering crew. However, they managed to complete the replacement of the old bridge with the new one within a mere two hours. Shortly thereafter, the crew began connecting the bridge deck to the existing road section by pouring concrete. Ultimately, it took 40 hours for the bridge to transition from being out of service to becoming fully operational once again. In spite of the presence of numerous bends and twists, the calibration of the beam proved to be a remarkable achievement. Recently, major cities have witnessed the simultaneous completion of comprehensive renovations and fresh constructions of substantial bridges located at crucial transportation hubs. This progress surpasses that of numerous other nations globally, enabling seamless bridge passage and restoration of normal to citywide traffic conditions. In later years, the film depicting the construction process of this building gained widespread attention on various websites globally, and the British Daily Mail acclaimed it as an extraordinary endeavor. It's hard to comprehend the human capability to build a new bridge at such an astonishing speed. However, it's worth considering that the process might take longer if it were to take place in your own country. For instance, in Europe, the construction of roads and bridges has traditionally been a somewhat inefficient undertaking. When numerous older bridges in the UK require beam replacements or construction, the completion can often extend up to two years, posing significant obstacles for local travelers. Similarly, in Germany, the construction of the major train station in Stuttgart has been ongoing for two decades and remains unfinished, greatly affecting public transportation. The initially estimated budget of 2.5 billion euros has now escalated to 9.3 billion euros. Initially slated for completion in 2021, it now seems challenging to achieve that target by 2025. The initial excitement surrounding the project is gradually waning, and many individuals are losing patience. The United States is known for its advanced infrastructure, has witnessed a notable rise in the number of bridges requiring repairs, significantly impacting people's ability to travel. Due to existing infrastructure challenges, the topic is not currently under consideration. It is worth noting that China possesses remarkable efficiency in completing projects within tight deadlines. This stems from both cultural disparities and the government's enforcement of specific rules and regulations. The dedicated workforce perseveres despite modest compensation, investing extended hours to accomplish their tasks. This exceptional commitment enables them to construct an entirely new bridge in a mere 40-hour time frame. The video depicting this construction progress has garnered widespread attention on various websites globally, and the British Daily Mail hailed it as an extraordinary endeavor. It is difficult to fathom the human capability to build a new bridge at such an astonishing speed. However, it is worth considering that the process might take longer if it were to take place in your own country. For instance, in Europe, the construction of roads and bridges a somewhat inefficient undertaking. When numerous older bridges in the UK require beam replacement or reconstruction, the completion can often extend to up to two years, posing significant obstacles for local travelers. Similarly, in Germany, the construction of the major train station in Stuttgart has been ongoing for two decades and remains unfinished, greatly affecting public transportation. The initial estimated budget of 2.5 billion euros has now escalated to 9.3 billion euros. Initially slated for completion in 2021, it now seems challenging to achieve that target by 2025. The initial excitement surrounding the project is gradually waning and many individuals are losing patience. The United States, known for its advanced infrastructure, has witnessed a notable increase in the number of bridges requiring repairs, significantly impacting people's ability to travel. In contrast, China's efficient completion of projects with in-tight deadlines showcases its ability to overcome challenges and achieve remarkable feats of engineering. The dedicated workforce, along with stringent regulations and cultural factors, contributes to this success. 
The construction of a new bridge in just 40 hours demonstrates China's commitment to rapid development and infrastructure advancement. What are your thoughts on this video? Please feel free to share your comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.